That's right, Keith. Tonight we're hearing that elaborate escape plan that those two had, and it seemed to go so smoothly, may have actually hit a bump in the road. CNN citing a source who says a woman who worked inside the prison with the two was supposed to meet up with them and be their getaway driver, but she never showed. Now today, take a look. You can see the search intensified about 40 miles south of the prison. In the air and on foot, hundreds of law enforcement agents descended on the small town of Willsboro, New York today as the manhunt for Richard Matt and David Sweat continues. Rifles and COs stationed at like just about every corner in the town. The town became the center of the search after residents reported seeing two men walking in the rain last night, then heading into a nearby field. Authorities say if it's the two fugitives, they're likely to get more and more dangerous as time goes on. They obviously have to eat, they have to sleep, they have to, you know, go on like the rest of us. Their level of desperateness will increase. Police have questioned this woman, Joyce Mitchell, who worked with the men in prison. Her cell phone was allegedly used to call several people connected to Matt, and sources say she may have planned to pick the two up following their escape, but changed her mind. That could explain why this man says he saw the two escapees in his backyard early Saturday morning, which would have been moments after they broke out of prison. They were looking around a little bit. As soon as I uh, came across, they ran out of my yard. He was like, sorry, I don't, I didn't know where I was. I'm on the wrong street. Matt and Sweat were both housed in the prison's honor block. That meant they got special privileges for being well-behaved, including being allowed to wear street clothes. Late this afternoon, reports surfaced that the men had been cornered, but police sources say their search is still active and that no one has been taken into custody. Now, authorities are saying despite this intense search, until they're found, the men should be considered to be able to be anywhere. So people should all be on the lookout. We will, of course, keep you updated with the very latest, both on Twitter and online at WKBW.com. Now, Richard Matt is a Tanawanda native. He still has family living here. And my colleague Kendra Eaglin spoke with his son earlier today. Kendra?